In this section, we are going to learn about static text and media templates. In order to create a static template, let's open the main menu and on the left hand side, click on the templates icon. Once there, simply click on the create template button on the top right to start with the template creation process. Please note that this entire process can be done from the DoubleTick mobile app as well. In order to create a template, first you will need to specify basic information about the template like template name, language and category. Let's give it a simple name like template1. Then we are going to select marketing as a category and choose English as the language and click on the next button in order to head on to the next section. This is the content section. The content section is the main section where you will specify the content that you want to send in the template. Content is divided further into three parts. The header, which is optional, body, which is mandatory, and footer, which is again optional. Header is where you can either specify the title of your message, which will appear as bold and on the top of your messages when sent to the customer. If you want to attach any media to your message while sending, like images, video or PDF, then the header section is the place where you, you will attach the media. In the body section, you can specify the main body of the message you want to send. This is where you can put your entire text content of your message along with any links. The footer section is a limited character section at the bottom of your message which can be used to specify your brand name or any short message. The footer text appears in a light colored font on the WhatsApp app. Now that you have understood the main content section, let's add an image as a media header. In order to do that, simply click on the image option and click on the upload a file button in order to upload an image from your local computer. Alternatively, you can also click on the enter URL button and put an image URL which should be directly pointing to a JPEG or a PNG file. Now that we have attached our image, next, now let's put out our body content. So we'll head move over to the body section and we will put our content. And now let's scroll down and put a footer as team double tick diamonds. On the right hand side, you can see that the message preview is visible so you can preview the message and make changes as you see fit. In order to make any section bold, you can start those characters with a star and end with a star in order to make those particular characters bold. Similarly, you can make any particular part of your body italics by starting with an underscore and ending with an underscore. Now let's press the next button in order to head on to the next section, which is creating buttons on your template. We will cover this section of buttons in a detailed another video. For now, let's just click on submit template to submit the template to Meta for approval. Once you submit the template, Generally, it takes a few minutes to get the template approved, but it might take up to 24 hours to get the template approved. The time taken to approve the template is completely in the hand of Meta and out of control of double tick. In case your template gets rejected, there might be several reasons why this might have happened. We will cover these reasons in a separate video along with a guide on how to create a template in such a way that it doesn't get rejected. Once your template gets approved, you will be notified via WhatsApp and then you should be able to start sending it to your customers.
So this brings us to the end of the section, how to create and manage static text and media templates. In later videos, we are going to cover in depth templates with buttons and templates with variables. So stay tuned.